Hi, I'm Paul from Hench Herbivore, personal trainer, vegan nutritionist, and this is what I eat in a day. If you want to learn more about how to optimize your health and sports performance while not harming the animals or the environment, hit the subscribe button, click the bell icon so you're notified of new videos and new live streams. Morning! I'm feeling chocolatey today, so I'm going to make a chocolate data aid. I've got a few special ingredients which I'll show you. First of all though, plain old water. We've gone off tap water. I've learned so much about the gut microbiome and how pivotal it is to have our good bacteria alive and kicking and thriving and you know blossoming out of control in our gut. We want them to be really real in the wrist. So chloride in drinking water. Chloride is put in water for the express purpose of killing bacteria. So it is madness in this day and age to still use tap water with the chloride in. Uh, obviously plastic's not good either in terms of health or the environment. So we've got filters coming for our Berkey system which will take out all the nasties. Costs about 200 pounds for, get about five years use out of them. So not too bad really. But anyway, it's got this for now. Plenty of dates for sweetness and the nutritional density and caloric density. Cocoa powder, of course. Vegan protein powder. If you're not bodybuilding or something like that, you don't need extra protein powder, but it may be a benefit for weightlifters. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, you can help support me by buying from these guys from my affiliate link, which is in the description. Costs you no extra money. Really good stuff, organic, no additives. This is my protein of choice. Hemp seeds, great source of your essential fatty acids. Now the secret weapons, number one ashwagandha powder, so from the Ayurvedic tradition, one of the most prescribed of the medicinal herbs. It's an adaptogen, so it can reduce stress, it balances your hormones out, it's really clever stuff. There's a myriad of other great things for your health as well. So no reason not to get that in there. Chaga mushroom powder. I've been hearing so much good stuff about medicinal mushrooms. It's something I've not really explored before. This is meant to be a really good tonic, like just good for so many reasons, so many different health benefits to this. We say plant-based diet, should really be plant and fungus based diet. I know that doesn't sound very appealing, but mushrooms, you know, they've been around for a lot longer than everything else. They have unique myconutrients, which are not available in, in plant foods and supposedly a real, real great booster to your health. So let's find out. And last but certainly not least, good old amla powder, most antioxidant rich food in the world. I'm looking forward to this. Ah, yeah. Um, I should let you know, we've also got a B12, a vegan DHA, and a vegan D3 tablet. I've got a lovely day off today, so I'm gonna do a bit of foam rolling, a bit of stretching, a bit of yoga, and then it'll be lunch. Have you guys heard of the medical medium? This guy, Anthony William. Gemma's doing his thyroid protocol currently. He's got a bit of a unique perspective on different illnesses. Not everyone's gonna be up for this. I mean, it's not backed by science. But check this out, New York Times bestseller, born with the unique ability to converse with a high level spirit who provides him with extraordinarily accurate health information that's often far ahead of its time. Since age four, when he shocked his family by announcing that his symptom free grandmother had lung cancer, which medical testing soon confirmed, Anthony had been using his gift to read people's conditions and tell them how to recover their health. His unprecedented accuracy and success rate as the medical medium have earned him the trust and love of millions worldwide among their movie stars, rock stars, billionaires, professional athletes, bloody blah, blah, blah. You know, I'm generally all into the science when it comes to nutrition and medicine. But you know, some of this we can all get behind. He's recommending a pint of celery juice every morning. Strengthens hydrochloric acid in the gut, helps the liver to produce bile to break down food, helps support the adrenals. You know, we can all be down with a bit of that, can't we? Anyway, we'll see how Gemma's health flourishes with his advice. Do the brushing, boy. Do you a brushing? <laughs> it's time for some buckwheat pancakes. Let me introduce you to the fellas. <laughs> so we've got this all grand buckwheat pancake mix. Need 330 mils of a plant milk. I'm gonna have two tablespoons of flax meal to make a flax egg with. Toppings, I'm gonna have blueberries and maple syrup. Step one, make the flax egg. Three of these. 
Bing, bing, boom. For every tablespoon of flax meal, you need three tablespoons of water. Mix it out. Leave that to stand for 10 minutes. Egg-like, but not in a gross way. So I'll throw the plant milk in. The flour. And I'll mix it up. Non-stick pan, medium heat. Here's one I made earlier. Bee breeze. Maple. Yummers. Nice little treat. What we have these? Once every, like once a month, you think? Yeah. Nice little change. If you want to be even healthier, rather than maple syrup, you can make date syrup, which is basically dates and water, which you whiz up in a blender. We ate all of the pancakes. <laughs> I may have got blueberry juice though, my beautiful vegan warrior t-shirt. Link in the description. Give it a day. Shut up! I had to wash it because you spilt stuff on it. <laughs> Clean t-shirt on and now I'm off to the Jiminy Cricket. Getting ready to hit my workout. So I've got my gym boss, my interval timer so I know how long to rest for. Got my workout plan so I know exactly what I'm doing, no monkeying about. And I just bring a business card just in case I get chatting to someone about veganism. They can use my website and my YouTube channel as a resource. And maybe they want to hire me as a PT because they can see how amazing I'm doing on this plant-based diet. Plant-based guys, baby! So I'm back home now, Gemma's chopped up this big papaya, so I'm going to have a couple of chunks of this. Wow. It's like coffee, isn't it? It is delicious. This is like a coffee soft centre chocolate mm. from years ago. Lovely. But I don't eat that stuff now. It is so delicious, so sweet, and just that coffee taste. How can that be healthy? Mm. So delicious. Mm. Nice, I'll have a couple of these, get my blood sugar up, and then I'm gonna make a bite to eat. You know, I'm gonna kick something, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Obviously I'm already having a bite to eat. So I found this whole grain rice vermicelli recently, so I'm gonna try and knock up some kind of Italian inspired recipe. So I'm gonna steam fry some red onion and some courgette slash zucchini, depending on where you are in the world. I was uh, hoping to do some mushrooms as well, but and in the fridge, I didn't realise, should have got some on the way home. There you go. Turn the onion for a while first, as that's a lot firmer. Get that underway. And I've added the courgette. With steam frying, a little water at a time, as it evaporates out, it's adding a little more water as necessary. If you've watched this channel for a while, you'll know why we don't use oil, but basically if you're new, oil really probably one of the most unhealthy things a vegan can eat. It just ain't natural. Okay, so I'm gonna add in some of this Italian seasoning. I'll cook this for a further minute or so. Bit of garlic as well. Then the tomatoes going. And I'll cook this for a few minutes. So I've got a nice little side salad of baby red leaf, rocket, spinach and red chard. And we're gonna dress with balsamic vinegar. Now my main protein source for this dish, black beans, most antioxidant rich bean there is. So these uh, noodles are instant. You just put them in boiled water for three minutes. Ooh. I'm Lady in the Tramp. <laughs> <laughs> Which one are you? <laughs> in the Tramp. <laughs> we will also have two walnut halves. When I write nutrition plans for people, they're sometimes quite surprised that there might be one Brazil nut or a couple of walnut halves. And you know, they question like, was that a mistake? And you know, really, we don't need a whole load of fat in the diet, especially in the presence of a lot of carbohydrate. We do need a minimum, obviously we need the 
um, essential fatty acids from nuts and seeds. Um, but really and truly, the reason I've got these at this meal, if you don't have um, at, at least a little amount of fat, you won't absorb any of the fat-soluble vitamins, for instance, the vitamin K in the greens, and also the carotenoid um, phytonutrients. So I always get a little bit of fat in there, but you don't want too much. So this is delicious. Going to get into a bit of editing now for a little while, and then join me later on for dinner time. Three potato chips. We just bake them, no oil. Oil is bad. Is it on? It's off because they're done. Ah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> As requested, here's Tuscan bean dip. One can of white beans, teaspoon of onion powder, quarter teaspoon of garlic, quarter teaspoon of turmeric. Is it turmeric or turmeric? Mm, does it depend where you live? We live the same place you do. <laughs> Tablespoon tahini. So that. I'm using the Dijon mustard. I like two teaspoons. Might be a little much for someone, you know, if they're not as tough as me. <laughs> two tablespoons of lemon juice and a little nip of salt if you don't mind risking terrible health consequences. Didn't tell him that I put some more in when he went looking. Okay, so baked sweet potato chips with this. This is the most delicious dip I've had. I love this. Mm. That's my new go-to dip. I've got some oregano, some smoked paprika on, on these chips. Got some good other asparagus and some cauliflower, which we steamed. It's got some nooch on there, some nutritional yeast, so it's a bit. Che it's cheesy, cheesy cauliflower, isn't it? People normally put, you know, fatty. Fat cheese? Yeah, oh, that's what I'm trying to say. You just can't get the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> this is the balm. The balm diggity. If you feel like this video has been of value, why not share it out, help grow this wonderful community that we've got, and together we'll inspire everyone to go vegan for victory. Beard's gone. My beard's gone, what?